In this episode, some tips and hacks to help you style up your photo. If you like to personalize your photo colors, I recommend the DIY hues. For this hack, what you need are one Ziploc bag, a few magic markers, whichever color you like, and of course, your handy dandy phone. It's very simple. Put the Ziploc bag over your phone's camera and then color away. Simple as that. Then take some photos and ta-da, you will see the effects. Experiment with the colors. Use different colors to achieve different looks like spooky, fun and cherry, and just knock yourself out with the colors. For more creative photos, use a CD-ROM. Because of its reflective surface, a CD-ROM can help you achieve very special photo effects and here's how you do it. Let's say you have your phone already propped up somewhere and you are the main focus of this picture. Put the CD-ROM right where your phone lens is, shine a torch light so that the rainbow multicolor here is being reflected onto your photo and you just need a photo, that's that simple. And that was how you made use of the CD-ROM flare to achieve better photos. On to the next one. All right. If you have a particular product that you would like to showcase, this is just the hack for you and it's called DIY product backdrop. Here's what you need. First, you need a blackboard, a reflective board. Put them together on top of your laptop surface. And then here's when you need YouTube your best friend. Just YouTube, interesting moving background. Click on one and oh, oh yeah, of course, of course, of course. You need your very cute little product. So you put this on top of your reflective surface and the blackboard against your MacBook screen and then you position it and then you just let it go. See, as the backdrop moves, all you get is this very stunning display of your product. So let's say you have a blog shop whatsoever, this will definitely come in useful for you. If you believe in the power of lights for your photo but don't exactly have the money to purchase such a huge Professional equipment, I call this hack the fast flight, aka fast food light. All my guy friends out there know that size doesn't always matter. So here I am to teach you how to make your very own studio lights using a fast food burger box. All you need for this hack are one burger box, not necessarily the ha 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 chong kai box. And of course, a uh, index finger size handy dandy torch. First, you make an incision on the side of the box right here. Fit the torch conveniently onto that incision that you made. Tape it down. And this is basically it. You just need to shine it in a certain angle. So this side of the box, right, is basically used to direct the light towards your face or your product, whatever you're photographing. You don't actually need this. You just need something small and know how to use it well. Simple. Let me introduce two very interesting, very engaging, very fun, very... I'm just gonna introduce two very funky apps that you might wanna try to up your photo game. So, the first one is a very popular app called Meitu. I'm sure a lot of you already know how that works, but you might not even know this function because I didn't even know. Embarrassing. But anyway, it's called Tech Magic, lah, okay? It's right over here. Tap it, click Try It Now. Select a photo from your album. It will start drawing just to, you know, like apply the effect over your picture. Look, that's me, eh. It's, it's just crazy. Me before and me after. Me before and me in anime land. Okay, honestly, I would prefer the me that you see right now. But anyway, on to the next app called Prisma. Let me show it to you. Okay, gallery. Tap on gallery, choose your photo. Let's say I choose Tota Vaikuntam. It will say creating artwork. Oh, this one's a lot faster. Right over here. That's me in a bit of like an artistic effect. Let's say I just wanna, you know, very quickly try Gothic. This is how I look as, as a goth. All right. So here's real me telling you that it's time for our next hack. For those of you who are absolutely in love with the iPhone's depth effect, 
I call this the DSLR blur. The app I use is called 4 F O R E. It looks like this, it's purple in color. You just need to tap it and pick an image. Very, very simple. Tap on the middle, then your gallery straight away pops up. Okay, pick a photo that is more believable, that could be a depth effect photo. Let's say this one. The photo just loads for a bit and then it automatically depth effects your face. See, you don't even have to go through that whole tedious process of highlighting the rest of the photos because this app simply does it for you. I must really say that this app is great because it cuts me out from the background very, very effortlessly and it does it just with like a few circles. It's done. Amazing stuff. You should try it. Try it, try it. Alright, so that was the end of all the tips I have for you to spice up your Instagram or phone photo game. So, if you like what you see or you like the tips we just shared, do remember to like, share and subscribe. But also, let us know in the comments below how we can improve or what you like about this video, what you don't like also, so that we can hear from you and we can produce better content for you. If you like what you see, just let us know. And till next time, peace out.